And we're conducting a hypoxia test here so that the uh, diver can um, begin to understand when the onset of symptoms occur. Um, he's going to be keeping a log of his symptoms as he feels things, and I'll be uh, marking down the PO2 um, at each particular symptom. If he gets to the point where he wants to abort from severe dizziness or anything, he may stop the test. Um, otherwise, uh, what we have noticed previously is that after a slow onset of symptoms, there's sort of a cascade of responses followed by blackout, at which point we'll uh, take him off the closed circuit and uh, give him oxygen, and he'll immediately respond to that and start to feel better right away. Are you ready? I am, yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Uh, 605, 40 and 7.45 on the stopwatch. Okay. Oh, we've got a really high PO2 right now, so maybe you want to flush the lid with some dilling in it and suck up some of that O2. <laughs> Actually, here, you can just bring yourself down to a 0.2 or a 0.3. Mm -hmm. okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, hang on. Mix up a little bit. All right. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little warm. Look at the mountain out there, still shot.
Breathing bags low. Okay. You are now breathing pure nitrogen. <laughs> He's experiencing dizziness now.
if you want. Bailout if you want. No, confirm he's anaerobic. <laughs> <laughs> to drop from a 0.3 PO2 down to a 0.10. He was at, um, at 10 minutes, he was at 0.12. That's when I told you to get ready. <laughs> so um, he actually tolerated, let's see, the last eight minutes have been 0.16 or lower. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You didn't even write down any symptoms until point one three. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Your first symptom was at point one three. Suck it up. Just pull water out. Yeah. Keep from getting out of eggs. Now heat started to twitch at the end. Why yeah. did you twitch when you go anoxic? It's exactly. Exactly what happened to. Uh, yeah, to I started. He, he twitched. He, after it started, right after you spit out the rag, I started yeah. like a minute. I started at point one three, and I had my first switch at like ten minutes. Right. And then yeah. at thirteen minutes, he had minutes, a twitch that he didn't even realize was a symptom, and he I just recognized it. And it was like, well, a twitch in his leg, a twitch in his arm. And he thought, no, I don't think that's a symptom. It was just an involuntary muscle contraction. But then huh. um, he started to um, twitch as he passed out, just exactly the same as you did. Um, How do you feel now? Okay. Yeah, I'm okay. I, um, I could feel I was going, and then I could feel this just a shut vibrating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I just knew I, like a gut instinct, I've only got a fraction of a second. And I think if I hadn't taken that mouthpiece in, I'd give me two breaths. I would have gone. I'm sure of it. I yeah, because when we put it in your mouth, you didn't take, you didn't breathe off of it. Right. I had I had to hit the we purge. We pushed the purge yeah. button you before get, you. Yeah. O2 down your mm. down right. your windpipe. Uh, yeah, I don't remember that at all. Yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> you remember Jill goes. Did you did you remember me saying let's call it? Uh, I think so. Okay, yeah. he said he's cyanotic, and I said let's call it. He was turning no, blue I, I for didn't a while. Hear, I didn't hear you say that. Yeah, you were you were starting to turn blue. So. Yeah. Um, so is that a fairly decent tolerance, or is that a? Oh yeah, that's yeah. like very. Yeah. Uh, um, although the the thing that's that's alarming is that you didn't feel any symptoms. You, mm. you don't have much of a lead time um, um, because you didn't report I any could. symptoms I, I, until I, I could tell things weren't right. 
um, I was aware that things were going wrong, um, but I couldn't clarify the symptoms. Like, I couldn't... Your deni denial? No, no, I just didn't know... No, he wrote on his sheet, um, bail out, question mark, and that's when I said, um, go ahead if you I've want got, to. I've uh, got, the warning started, yeah. first traces of pulsing nerves, like I felt... I wrote, no, 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 I could just feel, uh, I don't know, like really, like you get, on, I, well, I get a really deep narcosis. Uh -huh. I, I get a, like a, a mild sort of pulsing. Yeah. Like, I just become aware of my nervous system. I think I know what like, mean. hypersen... I guess if I was to write anything, hypersensitivity. Mm -hmm. and, and then that was at 0.13. Yeah, and then yeah. dizziness. I just... It wasn't even dizziness. Again, it was that hyper state or, or, yeah. or, or something I can't really describe. Just my body saying something's not right. Um, and then the can't breathe was really, like, more that I the just... Loop the loop loop. I was just yeah. so low on the loop. I was only getting yeah. probably a quarter of a breath. You know, and it was like... I was getting... And it's and I thought <laughs> if I could, I probably would have gone longer had I got a lung flu. But it was more like that wasn't hypoxia. That was like suffocation. That was right, like right. I just can't physically breathe. But that's yeah. what base. That's what you're doing. I yeah. mean, no. But I mean, if I'd have had more volume, um, right. I, I don't. I wouldn't have made that comment. So that right. wasn't like right. I'm having trouble breathing. It was like the vague volume was like I, I can't get yeah. gas literally. Um, then I queried. It's like I don't think I can go on much longer. Like you know, yeah. I was you're feeling right. quite unpleasant, I want to go home type, you know, I'm scared now. And that was at point one two. Yeah. And so that, that for you was a feeling that, that... I was scared, yeah, like, you know, yeah. like, like something's going really wrong here. So you felt like you were losing control at that Yeah, point. I wanted, I wanted to uh, go into a state of panic, you know, it's like, yeah. uh, what can I do, I want to get out of here. And it was only logic knowing that I was here with friends and the right gear and everything, that yeah. I hung in there, you know, um, I would have spat it out, you know. Interesting experience. Interesting, yeah. yeah. Really interesting. Highly recommend it. Twelve <laughs> minutes. Twelve minutes to drop from. Mind you, three on a survival factor, you know, if you what, if you're stuck in a cave and you've got, a, I mean, not that we're exerting, but if you've got a distance to go, you know, and everything's clapped out, you know, you're not going to drop there and then. You've got time. Yeah. And uh, and really, when you look at that, even if your O2 is clapped out, um, if you can uh, flush the loop, uh, like sorry, if you're um, uh, what do we do? We did, like <laughs> <laughs> we did hypoxia first, didn't yeah, we? Yeah. So yeah, if your O2 claps out, yeah, I was thinking of hypercapnia, but right. Yeah. Right.